you were out there, uh, you know, reaching out to your networks and, and asking everybody to vote. We had the state of Colorado showed up and really supported us through this effort. We had uh, the Office of Economic Development, uh, Governor Polis, we had mayors from Colorado Springs, Pueblo Monuments, Pueblo West. Everybody was posting, doing videos, trying to get the vote for us. And uh, can't, can't say thank you enough to everybody in the state that, that voted for us and everybody across the country. Uh, we, we looked at the stats and uh, through our website there were over 4,100 cities that voted for Canyon City across the country. That is just absolutely amazing. We had, we had all 50 states uh, cast a vote for Canyon City and 4,100 cities. Woo! How are we doing on time, guys? Where are we at? Uh, 27. 27? Okay. 28. 28. Oh, we're just going to count down. <laughs> Regardless of what happens tonight, I think everybody should be proud of themselves. Everybody should be proud of Canyon City. Uh, we've got uh, a great community, great community members, and uh, you know, our, our businesses showed up for this event. We had we had people donating their time, donating money, donating food, donating prizes for the giveaways. Uh, there, there was so much community happening. Everybody set their differences to the side uh, to make this project happen to get us where we need it to be, and that is, uh, you know, it leaves me speechless thinking about it. They, I mean, they, you, you guys really do a great job, and uh, we love our business community. Thank you very much. <laughs> you want to be able to hear the announcement afterwards. <laughs> you got a video? Okay. Seen in their communities in years. And that is what the 
Small Business Revolution was all about. That top 10 trip was one for the record books. From some pretty long, crazy road trips to <laughs> our and showing us why they deserved a chance to be in this competition. From there, we narrowed it down to the six finalist communities to be put up for public vote. This year, those towns that made it through to the finalist voting stages were Campus Washington, Canyon City, Colorado, Durant, Oklahoma, Searcy, Arkansas, and Washington, North Carolina. All six of these communities should be incredibly proud at how they not only rally their community members, but their beloved celebrities, legislators, entire states, friends, and families. And guys, I have to say, this year the voting was bananas. <laughs> and you guys were on fire in social media. Your posts and shares made 200 million impressions across the country, wow. which is simply incredible. We wish all six towns could win. But as all of you know, only one town can earn a half a million dollar investment from Deluxe and to be featured in season four of the Small Business Revolution. We encourage the remaining five to use the momentum we've created. You have the leadership in place, and the small business owners in town to propel you even further. Deluxe is excited to return to each of the top 10 towns to provide free marketing seminars to their small business owners. You can go to our website, smallbusinessrevolution.org, to sign up to all the communities in the contest. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your town with our team. Thank you to the amazing town leaders who have worked so hard to promote your small businesses. That about. And thank you to the small business owners who have shared <laughs> with us their stories. So now, So we need to be able to capitalize on the exposure that we have just created. So you heard Amanda say there were over 200 million impressions that happened. Uh, I was talking earlier about 4,000 different communities that voted for us, and all of that uh, that has been created needs to move forward. And uh, you know, one of the things that we need to look at doing is, is taking back our brand. We're, we're known as a prison community, and we, we need to reframe that conversation. We need to be known as a, a community of first responders. We need to be known... <laughs> we're not the, not the place where Al Chapo goes. We're the place where 
We're the place that keeps the state and the country safe from these horrible people, and we need to be proud of that. We've got some great projects coming down the pipeline. Uh, the mayor mentions Stan Bullets and the Hotel Center. I've had uh, three inquiries about new restaurants, four inquiries about new retail. Uh, the, the buzz that's going on right now is great, and we just need to keep it going. If, if you know somebody that's looking at opening a restaurant, opening a business, please send them my way. I'm happy to help them, happy to uh, get them through the process. Uh, we've got a, a great thing going at TechStart, the, the sector partnerships that the state uh, initiates. Um, you know, we, we received a grant for the tech sector partnership last year. It was a $35,000 grant. We matched it with uh, dollars from a, a private donor and, and some city dollars as well. And we want to keep growing and fostering this uh, tech sector partnership and uh, you know, diversifying the economy through that. Outdoor recreation. You know, we've got so many great trails. Forrest has done a great job in promoting outdoor recreation. <laughs> Every time you see a mountain bike from outside of the area, that represents $250 in tourist spending a day. So that, that is something that we need to, to grow and foster. We need to continue to work together as businesses. We, we've got a downtown business alliance. I, I'm happy to start any business alliance that anybody wants to start. I will work with you. We've got the tech sector partnership with a group of technology companies working together. If you have an industry uh, partnership or a new set of industries that want to work together, I will work with you and, and help you get through that process. Uh, there are grants for some of those things as well uh, to promote you as an industry. Uh, we've got some great things coming up. Uh, Deluxe is doing their marketing seminar on May 20th. That's going to be over at the Abbey. We will work with the Small Business Development Center at, at a PCC and we'll work with Pueblo Community College to continue the education programs going forward so that our businesses have the latest tools and uh, research and knowledge to, to, so they can be successful. So we'll, we'll continue to work and develop those programs as well. And then, uh, you know, let me know what you need as a business owner. You know, I, you know, every business is different. I, I think, you know, going through this process, we heard uh, a lot of things from different businesses uh, uh, across you know, different cities and uh, through this, this small business revolution. And you know, one of the things I heard is you know, a lot of uh, businesses, you know, they, they related to, to what some of the other businesses are going through. And that's not uncommon. So you know, if you're having a problem with business, uh, you know, if, you know, whether it's marketing or finances, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, chances are somebody else is having that problem too. So you know, you know, let them use me as, as that connecting source and, and so we can find out what those common problems are. There's a new uh, workforce development grant for the retail sector. Uh, working on uh, applying for that, uh, so we, we will uh, get more information on that as, as it comes. Uh, continue to build that community pride. It, it was great to see all the people come together and, and clean up Main Street, but it's, you know, that's, there are other parts of the community that uh, can be cleaned up. And uh, you know, Main Street, we want to make sure that we're doing that on a regular basis, so we'll, we'll continue to work towards that as well. And then uh, also proposing some new programs, so business uh, facade improvements and some other programs to be coming down the pipe. Then have fun with it. Uh, let your creati creativity loose. I, I remember being at the rally um, that was out on Main Street, 500 block, and I saw a sign that said, uh, respect the tilde. And, you know, have fun with it. I mean, that's what it's all about. Um, you know, we really want to make sure that we are uh, just having fun and moving this thing forward and working together. So, that's the last one. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. And uh, stick around and talk to you guys.